All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about why I waited so long to get a Spyderco Delica 4, or rather, why did I wait so long to get one of these guys? And to be honest and upfront with this uh, video, just like out the gate, I really don't know why I waited so long to finally get a Delica 4. And I've handled them before. Plenty of my friends, of course, own them. I think the Delica 4 is one of those knives that, in my opinion, like among a handful of knives such as the Benchmade Griptilian, um, the Delica 4, and a handful of others are like really, really good, at least in my opinion, first or starter knives. And that is partly because even though, you know, price points are at an all-time high for knives, of course, um, these knives continue to I think not necessarily remain affordable because I don't necessarily think that the Griptilian or the Delica 4 necessarily in certain, you know, like, especially in certain um, variations or like uh, sprint runs are necessarily affordable. Some of them are actually quite expensive, but the... I think for the most part, outside of those kind of limited sprint runs, the Delica 4 and things like the Griptilian offer a tremendous amount of value. And that is, I think, like the biggest thing I have to say when it comes down to it. So honestly, the reason why I never got a Delica 4 before now is primarily because, so when I was first getting into knives, like I said, I got a... Um, Benchmade Griptilian. This is a 550. This was what I started out with. And I don't know, it's kind of like uh, Pokemon for anyone familiar. You know, like when you pick your first Pokemon, it's kind of hard to go back and get some of those original. Like when you have your first choice, you kind of just choose. And after that, you just grow your collection. And so oftentimes, you know, those kind of starter knives, so to speak, you know, kind of fall by the wayside and they're kind of like harder to attain. Or realistically, you just don't, don't want to set yourself back by going back for starters but that being said um the delica 4 ended up just not being like i ended up choosing the benchmade 550 and uh as far as it goes i did want to add a delica 4 to my collection for a few reasons um and the first one being that, you know, being my kind of like position as a knife tuber or knife influencer, whatever you want to call it, I don't really see myself like that. But, you know, I, I do a lot of videos talking about knives and stuff. And so subsequently, I get asked a lot of times, you know, what is my opinion on things like TRM or brands like TRM? You know, what is my opinion on the Delica 4? What is my opinion on different knives like the Tour Merchant, you know? And so I I want to actually own some of these knives so that I can give people legitimate feedback, you know, actually carry and use these blades so that I have like real actual feedback to give to people. Um, and that's why I wanted to add the Delica that, and I feel like it is a really cool knife. And I think that uh, they are definitely not like slept on. Like people definitely know about the Delica 4, but it's nice to have one in my collection so that I can, you know, use it, carry it, have fun with it. And it's also one of those blades that is one that I'm the less afraid to go out and use and abuse, right? Like this is one that is already quite a user. So it's quite a user, so I'm not that afraid to use it. And then lastly, the, the reason why I finally picked one up is that I actually got this from a um, Instagram friend that was getting out of EDC and was selling off his collection. And so he got me a pretty darn good deal or worked with me to get a pretty darn good deal on this blade. Now I've done a lot of talking about this Delica and kind of the backstory to actually dig into the specifics. This is a pretty standard Delica. This does feature the K390 blade steel. And so that is yet another reason why I did want to pick this particular Delica up because I don't have K390 in my collection or now I do, but I didn't at the time before buying this. So I wanted to use this as a test bed for K390. And I think that this is a perfectly good test bed. Now, another thing I should know is like I said, this was got as a user. So it already had some force patina or a little bit of like I don't think it was actually force patina it was like natural patina on it so what I did was I took a um, piece of steel wool quad dot steel wool just roughed up the whole surface cleaned it and then I put a coat of gun blue on it and in certain lightings it's a little bit hard to see because gun blue tends to be a lot like uh, DLC where like in the right lighting it actually looks like it doesn't have any coating but it does have a forced patina on there it is gun blued and I will say I 
like the looks of this a lot more in person on camera and in pictures it never really quite captures just how i want to say like war torn or like battle worn this looks because that's what i was going for i really like roughed it up with uh, steel wool before bluing it so it has like underneath the blue is a very like kind of a rough um, just like overall worn kind of texture to it and uh, it just looks really cool in person in my opinion and that's kind of when I got this I knew going into this that this was a user and so I wasn't going to keep it all pristine and clean I was actually going to rough it up make it look abused and then put a coat of gun blue on it so that is what I did like I said hopefully it comes out well in the picture or in the camera um, but from my viewfinder it does not look that amazing but it does look really cool in person and then of course I put this on my wicked edge as you guys can probably see with that nice little you know glossy edge there I did put this on the wicked edge and just touched it up because it was once again a user so it was a little bit dull out of box um, so anyways touched it up made it a scotch bit sharper now I will say Delica 4s I think one reason people love Delica 4s as a whole is they are super slicey because they are a very very thin piece of steel so they are super slicey by nature and so that is something that this guy has so it's a great cutter do like it a lot about the only thing i'm not the largest fan of is i'm not a huge fan of lockbacks just because because usually with a lockback you do have to you know use it two hands to close it like this thing easy spidey flick out but you do usually have to use two hands to close it unfortunately however that is my delica for now into the future with this guy like i said i did blue the blade i knew i was going to do that i knew i wanted to do that as far as other modifications go i don't know if i'll really do anything else to this because i really like its kind of rugged battle-worn look to it all of this is just carry wear use wear and of course the forced patina on the blade but outside of that i don't know i kind of like the way that it looks all roughed up so i don't know if i'll add any like custom scales of course like many spider codes there are a million different options you can get for handles clips screws you name it you can get custom just about anything on these however like i've said you know at the end of the day like the, one of my biggest reasons why i don't like modding especially my spider codes is at the core of the conversation this is about you know like a 70 dollar knife so if you dump another 70 dollars into it as far as modifications go it's like modifying anything right like you dump a lot of money into your truck you know you can easily dump like 10 grand of you know mods into your truck and it doesn't really increase the resale value maybe to the exact right person but you know by and large you know modifying your truck you can dump lots of money and it doesn't really increase the resale value so same with knives you know and i'm not saying that you should specifically look at resale value of all your knives but it's one of those things that like when it comes down to me i'm just like i could take like let's say a hundred bucks and i could put a hundred dollars of mods into this knife right or i could take a hundred dollars and buy another knife right so for me I'm like I usually end up leaning towards buying more knives as opposed to modding the ones that I have now that being said there are definitely knives that I will be modding like this smock and I definitely am looking forward to doing that and of course I will say if there's ever like a user issue or if a knife needs to be modified I'm not afraid to modify them um, or like buy modifications to help it perform better but honestly like that Del Delica 4 is totally squared away anyways guys so that is kind of my overview of my delica 4 and like i said i am still kind of surprised i waited as long as i did to get one they are really cool knives and once again they are one of those blades that if you are somehow watching this channel and you are new to knives you don't have anything um, or you're really considering like where do i start the delica 4 the endura is an awesome one the indela is also a really great one i would probably lean if i was starting out i'd probably lean towards something like a delica 4 or indela in k390 because the k390 is going to provide you a lot of edge retention and I think that's one of the things that um, like with newer people to the knife world like you may not have something like a wicked edge so for me it's like I don't really care about steel because if a knife goes dull on me I can throw it on my wicked edge and have a like mirror polished edge or dull mirror polish inside of 30 minutes on 
just about any steel. Like every steel I've thrown on my Wicked Edge, uh, I've like reprofiled. We're talking like CPM Crew Wear, 20 CV, Magna Cut, K390, steels that people say are like incredibly hard to sharpen. Um, I've thrown them all on my Wicked Edge and they sharpen up just the same. So, you know, for me, I don't really care what the steel is because if it goes dull, I can put a dull mirror polish on it in inside of 30 minutes. Um, whereas someone who's newer to the knife world probably doesn't have that type of sharpening ability. So for them, like going for something like K390 makes a lot of sense because it will hold an edge for a very long time. And because it's a high wear tool steel, you can literally, I mean, I'm not saying you should cut up against abrasive or, you know, like hard things like other pieces of steel, but it will fare better than something like uh, eight, 8CR13 MOV, um, 14C28N Sandvik, uh, Nitro V, stuff like that, you know, those steels will get hurt a lot easier than K390. Anyways, guys, that's kind of my brief overview of the Delica 4. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.